Hi there, I'm Rose Jacobs here with you for Calcine Media. Today we're going to look at two hot Canadian EV stocks to buy and hold for the next 10 years. But first, make sure you do press that bell icon at the bottom of the screen for all the latest updates right here on Calcine Media. Climate change threats have largely drawn people's interest towards a fossil fuels free and carbon neutral economy. With the electric vehicle space being an integral part of the goal, many investors have been motivated to explore the industry. On Friday, November 12, the S&P and TSX Renewable Energy and Clean Technology Index was up by about 3% quarter to date, reflecting a continued interest. On that note, let's have a quick look at two TSX listed EV stocks. Number one is Magna International, headquartered in Aurora, Ontario. This is an automotive supplier firm with operations in North America, Europe and China. Founded in 1957, Magna is known to provide mobility solutions and technologies such as electronic systems, powertrain, roof systems and other components. The Canadian automotive supplier recorded sales of US $7.9 billion in the third quarter of fiscal 21, noting a decrease of 13% year over year. It said it was due to reduced light vehicle production. It's set to pay a quarterly dividend of US $0.43 cents per share on December 3 this year against an ex-dividend date of November the 18th. Number two, NFI Group, based in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Automaker NFI Group offers electric mobility solutions and services worldwide. They reported the revenue of US $492 million in the third quarter of 2021. Its adjusted EBITDA stood at US $31 million and its net loss amounted to US $0.22 cents per share in its latest quarter. One of the world's leading independent bus and coach manufacturers recently announced that a syndicate of investment dealers led by BMO Capital Markets, CIBC, Capital Markets, National Bank, Financial and Scotiabank. These companies have agreed to purchase common shares of NFI at a price of Canadian $24.55 per share and $250 million aggregate principal amount of convertible senior unsecured debentures of NFI for distribution to the public by way of a bought deal financing. In conclusion, keeping climate change concerns in mind, many governments across the world set stronger emission reduction targets at the recently held COP26 event, which is likely to boost the demand for the electric cars even further. On the other hand, investors should research about a stock they're interested in and not just blindly follow the trends before making any investment decisions. That's it for today's video. If you like what we've been chatting about then don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment even and go to calcimemedia.com for more. I'm Rose Jacobs and I'll see you next time.